Hi YouTube, AC Dodd here again and join me for another carburetor repair video. Uh, in this case we've got a nice HI44 that's going to need some machining to stop it leaking. Okay, let's get down to it. So here I have a HI44 car body and you're asking yourself what's up with it. Well in this case we've got a problem and it's leaking. We've not got no cracking but what we have got is where the float screw screws into the casting there you'll see there's a line in the casting which looks like a crack but it's not that's actually uh, a fault in the casting which means at that point there it's not flat so this particular casting hasn't been machined from the factory uh, to have a spot face on it so what we need to do is we need to, in order to make that seal, what we've got to do is we've got to put that spot facing on to clean that, that surface up. So just to give you an idea of what we're talking about, if I put that to one side and bring in another one. So this is another body and you can see there where my thumb is, that surface has been machined by the factory to make it flat. So that's effectively what we're going to do to this other casting. So this video is about me performing the spot face. Okay, so we're over on the milling machine. And what I've got here is the carburetor in the machine vise. Uh, I've squared it up. So this is um, perpendicular. Uh, and uh, in line with the with the drill uh, and I'm using the drill bit there not to do any drilling but just to center up on the hole so as you can see there that's centered nicely on the hole that's in the carburetor so now what I'm going to do is change the drill bit for a, um, a, uh, a slot drill with a flat end and we're just going to go in there and just very slightly cut the surface to make it nice and flat So, let's just touch that surface and clean it up. We're going to cut it down. And wind it in. There we are, a nice clean spot face, and that should seal up beautifully. So how did we do? There it is off the machine. So let's have a closer look and we can see that we've got a nice smooth surface. So that should seal up nicely when we put the uh, float retaining pin in. Okay, so uh, we've got a float retaining pin in there. So let's put a screwdriver in, wind that up, and that should sit nice and flat, which it does. So that should seal perfectly. So this carb is ready to go back on the bench, be assembled and put back into service. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little repair on the uh, HI44. It just, uh, it's a short video, but it just gives you some idea of what you have to do if you want to repair some of these these carbs can be in quite poor condition and things like uh you know a machining a mistake because that that should have been spot face from the factory and it wasn't um you know and it can cause a problem and this particular carb uh it came to me um from uh, an individual who uh, sent it down for rebuild and i rebuilt the carb sent it back and then obviously it came back because it was leaking so uh I had to do something about that. These are too, um, they're too rare now and too expensive to, uh, you know, throw away and, and replace. Uh, we've got to save them. So uh, the more and more of these I'm doing, uh, the more salvaging I'm finding myself doing in terms of uh, machine work to try and keep them going. So uh, uh, as ever, please like and subscribe. And if you need a carb rebuilt or you need any repair work done, please drop me a line. Thank you very much.